911, what's your emergency? You have to help us! He's bleeding! Oh my god, Sam! Miss, please calm down. Please state the nature of your emergency. There's been a crash! They're hurt! You have to help them! We're dispatching units to your location. Please stay on the line until they arrive. In a world where regrets are common, I was ignorant to a lot of little things that nearly cost me my life. I was scared with a lot of emotions running through me. When I tell people I'm a survivor, they need to know what made it possible. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Dr. Vine Show, a podcast for people of all ages, highlighting and discussing health and well-being in grand style. Should poverty and racism be considered health illnesses? I would like to know your thoughts on that. Leave your comments in the comment section and on the social media pages. In this episode, we shall look at another topic that isn't COVID-19, but something COVID-19 has laid more emphasis on, showing the magnitude of such an overlooked area of life. If there was ever something more glaring during the COVID-19 pandemic period till the date of this episode's publishing, it is the reality that poverty and racism has never been so glaring to the naked eye that it has been mentioned as a public health crisis. In September 2020, a public health group consisting of health systems in 45 states of the United States and including Washington, D.C., released a statement to the public saying, It is undeniable. Racism is a public health crisis. This came after an African-American was killed by the police in May 2020. It has also been mentioned that the poorest of communities are the ones dominated by blacks. Challenges such as not affording good food for good health, lack of good education, poor access to good health care, and lack of income for sustenance are some of the challenges faced by blacks. The inequality became more apparent during the COVID-19 crisis as certain people couldn't afford the basics of life. Both white people and black people found it hard to survive. And if not for the AIDS by the various governments, hunger would have taken more lives than COVID-19. And yet, there were a group of people comfortable enough to travel by private jets or by themselves to avoid contact with other humans. Talk about the extremes of life. Look a little deeper. And you will find out that there was no other time in history the private jet industry ruled the day. Cities were locked down, offices shut down, people forced to stay off work or forced to work from home. You will expect the average worker to have hard savings for tough days like the COVID-19 lockdown. But pockets ran dry faster than the water stagnated in a pothole in a rural area. We could look at racism as an isolated entity, but it comes under the umbrella of discrimination. Any form of discrimination as a whole will have negative effects on the health of the individual consigned and the economy in general. How? Besides the clear pattern that African Americans have a lower life expectancy than the other ethnic groups, and have a troublesome disease burden compared to others. A study by researchers at the University of Southern California found out that racism appears to increase chronic inflammation, raising the risk of these individuals to chronic illnesses. This study was published in the journal Psychoneuroendocrinology.
When someone experiences racism, an inflammatory response is triggered at a cellular level. As we know, for humans to be able to fight infections, respond to stress, or repay injuries, a certain group of genes are needed to achieve this. When someone who is racially abused or discriminated feels threatened for a long time, these genes remain activated for over a longer period of time and it can lead to damages to body systems and organs with outcomes like heart attacks, brain disorders and cancers. These same events have also been noticed in people living in poverty, those who are lonely and those suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. What we have understood from this study is that as individuals, when faced with discrimination and poverty, the likelihood of staying sick free is minimal. But for the community at large, what does it mean? A healthy community is a wealthy community. Another important thing I observed from the COVID-19 pandemic was how eager governments all over the world were are willing to put down measures to ensure survival of citizens at the risk of economies falling. But also with the mindset that when economies are reopened and normal business resumes, the economy will bounce back. Humans hold the economy. Healthy humans hold the economy. A sick or depressed CEO will not make a multi-million dollar deal for his company. Just as a poor man will not be having a significant contribution to the growth of any economy in the world. The earlier we recognize that racism is a health illness and poverty is a disease, the more efforts are put together to ensure that individuals feel comfortable in their skin and your poor neighbor should not ever want to continuously live in poverty. Poor neighborhoods should also not ever continuously be in poverty. If we are able to achieve this, we are going to have a better world. We are going to have a balanced world. We are going to have a situation where everybody feels like they are contributing positively to mankind. I remain Dr. Vaini Baoche. Listening to the Dr. Vine Show, the most educative show on the planet. For further consultations on this topic, any health issue, acute or chronic, mild or severe, reach me on 070 5042 9893. 070 5042-9893 And if you're outside Nigeria, replace the first zero with plus 234. You can also reach me on WhatsApp with the same number. 070-5042-9893 Personal consultations, family consultations, retail and company consultations, our services are open to all. I am currently offering weight loss programs alongside my team done online at your own comfort without the stress of gym work. Reach me again on 070-552-65763. I repeat, 070-552-65763. From any part of the world, achieve good health and lose fat all in one go. Don't forget to add plus 234 if you're reaching out from outside Nigeria. And subscribe to our social media channels, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, for more contents. 
at the Dr. Vanshaw.